Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Dragon Ball Z League Tournament of Power Season 2 Top 8. You know, Top 8. That's it. The Episode thing. 3. Part 3, whatever you want to call it. I'm your host, Orgard, with my ever vigilant co host, DJ Numa. I don't know about vigilance, but uh, I'm definitely here and present and accounted for. No, no, you're vigilant. When I swing with you, you don't tap. Little magic Aww. joke there for those that know. Do I at least have first strike? <laughs> you're vigilant. I don't know. Aww. Are you Selesnian? You have first strike, too. But all of that aside, we are in the playoffs. Best of ones. Going real hard. Match three today. We have the Fault in our builds. Lovely name. Up against Neo Demonology. Uh, a returning team. Kind of. Sort of. From last season. Uh, rank yes, two versus cool rank return. ten. Yeah. So, again, one of our uh, non-upsets from last week for versus... Uh, well, I, I guess the demonology was kind of 50. They, they were in, yeah, they were in a very close. They were finding a very close rank, so it was kind of just either way. So this is a, these are two teams that theoretically we're always going to fight, depending. Yeah. So uh, it should be rank-wise closer than some of our matches that we've had this week, uh, or will have this week. So it should be a very good one. Yeah. Although if you haven't checked out the last match, it was really close so go check that out came down to the last bar that's all i'm gonna say on it and on that really, note all the matches have come down pretty well but yeah with the the way things are going this one will come down to within like a punch uh yeah <laughs> with the way it has been but the poll is live so numo who do we have starting us off today all i see is green well we've got green man one late piccolo with attack up two defense Defense minus one, eternal life, serious light body, and Chiaotu AI taking on Babidi with... Oh god, my entire thing just scrolled. Ah! Okay, here we go. Babidi with Super Up 1, Fighting Spirit, Indignation, Master Blast, Exquisite Skill, Power of Rage, and TNAI. And Pui Pui coming in for the... High Speed Clash! Not quite in yet. So, uh, this is Pseudo Cannon. Late Piccolo cut Babidi in half. Yes. And that's like when he was flying around, just like his head in his arm, and then boo, finish him off. So a, a, a partial cannon fight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. if you want to call it a fight, Bobbity just put up like three wizard barriers, and Piccolo just went, yeah, uh, karate chop. Uh, no. Piccolo Dude. chop. Piccolo time. Oh, that's his ult oh, in the I, middle of the I, air too. That's gonna deal a lot of damage. Seven hundred and ten, <laughs> a ridiculous amount of damage. No one saw it coming, wait, except we. The only person with a 100% connection rate. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, please One vote. Uh, join the discard and One go to the suggestion chats and put in that we want keep Pui Pui if you want him added into the server. I can't keep doing it. Somebody else needs to do it. Do you want to see Pui right. Pui in his nice shot in the league next year? But late Piccolo doing what late Piccolo does best, um, which is really just beating the absolute crap out of his opposition. <laughs> Yeah, no, as long as Piccolo, as long as this Piccolo just like grenades his opponents, you're good. As soon as he starts trying to get tricky with that ultimate, it's about as effective as it was in the show. Unfortunately, Bobbity not at all. Had a few ults last week that really helped him keep his damage going, but this week he's just struggling. This is gonna kill. Yes, it is. And chopped in half. Bobbity just like the show. Yeah, to bring in Kid Boo. So we got some super gum here with uh, defense up to serious late energy savior, dead days healing, and Piccolo AI. Trying to pinball Piccolo, but it's not gonna work. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be an interesting one. Kid Boo, very strong character, but on a more of a kind of sustained build um, in the TLP this year. So we'll see. Will that be what they need to get back? They do have early Goku in the back, but Mecha Frieza uh, is kind of on an old spam build, so he can easily take on a full character, which is old, full power old. Yeah, it, I, that's kind of what you want Mecha Frieza to do. Just come in, alt, leave. Well, he's at KSA, so he can do long awaited 100%. He could. But so the, so that, that's right the idea, out. I think, behind that build that they have on him. But, I mean, this is not what you want. Kid Buu going even with Lake Piccolo is needed him to come in and just start wiping the floor, starting with the planet burst that he unfortunately didn't go for. Yeah, and he was he was already at a, uh, basically a three-bar disadvantage health-wise. 
because of, like, you know, the team is at a three bar disadvantage help wise when he can be him. Another cherry bullet hit. No, oh, going to flash. And our poll is very even today. We've got uh, Neo De Demonology with 55% to the 45% for the fault now builds. And a good connection for Kid Boo there with Pinball. But again, Kid Boo's got to start putting out a lot more damage if they want a chance to uh, survive. Yeah. yeah, I think the added damage from uh, the Planet Burst might have ended late Pickle, at least taken out a character, but this has given him an opportunity to potentially tag. He's really needs to finish him with this combo, and it just doesn't quite take him out. Yeah. Now, if he can get him before Piccolo tags, then he hurts. So Careful. The, the last time he did this, it did 700 damage. My God. Oh, oh! God, a great way to end off Piccolo. And down goes Piccolo. Yeah, I think uh, if, if you want to have a chance here in Neo Demonology, you need Kid Boo to tag, get that second health bar, come back in with Savior later, and just try to bring it out. Or eat the ult from Mecha and somehow not die. Or not eat an ult from Mecha? Yeah, make him waste some bars. There we go. He won't have two bars, though. True. Long there's the long awaited 100%. And, uh, I mean, early Goku coming in he's got uh the second two defense down one q bay light body Vito super arts and den days with Ginyu ai so kind of uh an attack version of what freeze is trying to do here where he's just trying to get into your face and you know spam the uh the kyogen yeah um, i mean so was... basically this is uh just very close to the resurrected warriors Bill that he was on during the main link season where he'd come in, Kaioken, gain a bunch of stats, basically just have like near maxed out attack stat and just start going in. Yeah. And uh Yeah, I mean who I forgot to list him with. Um sorry about that. Frieza came in with defense up to Kabitos, blocks of support, and save the rodeo. So yeah, they're, they're just kind of hoping for him to stick around long enough to throw off some supernovas. Yeah, I mean, the defense is so that if he's not throwing supernovas, at least, like, he'll last a bit, maybe do some melee, maybe hit some not-so-death beams, but... <laughs> Goku has just got his number, and he's been doing really well with those solar flares. Yeah. So there's another Kaioken. Exactly what, uh, uh, I did. Canceled the long awaited. It'll continue to be awaited. <laughs> and a can attack. I think this there does it. Frieza. Yeah. And in will come Dr. Jero, which could be a very big problem for, uh, for, uh, the fault no, no, Neo Demonology. Yeah, so this is a one bar lead for Jero, but Jero, not necessarily seen as the strongest character. Not a bad character, but certainly lower on the totem pole. And a nice combo to early Goku. Yeah, and unlike last week, he's not going up against the Eagle right now, so he can do the sun. Oh. Ah, oh, that was a mistake. He could have done the suck. Yeah, he could have absorbed the Kamehameha, or if he didn't have to jump, like if he didn't jump back and just was able to throw up the B2, which the game doesn't always allow, uh, that would have hit before the Kamehameha finished charging, because he did charge it. But that's a great thing for Neo Demonology. They are hanging on by a thread. It is basically even in hell. Yeah, uh, right now, Demonology is just hoping that Kid Buu can take down Zero. Uh, well, they just need him to deal like as much as he can. He's just going, it's just a go in, hurt him as much as you can, try to get him down low as you can so that early Goku, who will have two bars, uh, can hopefully you know, do his job and just win. Yeah, what I was, was going to say though is that if the Rose sits in here and he just starts taking all of Goku's, um, Goku's charge, that could be a problem because Goku is in your face right now with his charge. And another tag, he'll have Savior again. Okay, that's another chance for a planet burst. Dodges the grab. Our Kaioken's not gonna last too long because it drinks his key. 
bro. You've got you've got a mountain to climb here. Show off why you're not the worst. No, no, no. That's General Blue. Come on. Now. Show off why you're not the bottom of the totem pole. <laughs> at, at least bring Kid Boo back in. You know, do 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 a little bit of work here. Jump back. Hit him with the B2. Oh. Or or just stand there and take it. He's just wasting all his key now. And he's putting in the fight, but. He is like on a yeah, without, build, without the this help, will take him out. And without the health regen from the grab, it's just gonna... It's not even the health regen. If he could have got the full key, his ult does give health back, so... Would have had the ability to try, but unfortunately, he will go down, meaning the fault in our builds. Uh, the rank 4 seed has been eliminated, leading Neo Demonology to move on to the next round, the top 4. And yeah, Newman, and again, that was it for this really episode. That was it for this episode. And another really good fight. It's almost like these 16 teams are, or these 16, these eight teams are, you know, some of the best in the league. Huh. Yeah, they really shown up, put it up, but the tag game, uh, I think it was just too much healing for the Fulton Our builds today. Uh, Jero yeah. put in the effort, but unfortunately just was a little too much with them going in and out, in and out, in and out. He could never quite find his rhythm. That's a hard one to yeah. do for most teams. Yeah, let alone let alone a character that's not seen as the most, uh, let's say, powerful on the team. But For yeah, sure. no. As you said, that's the end of this episode. Because remember, folks, one match this, uh, an episode this week. So, thank you all very much for watching. Door, what should they do? Uh, we actually have a long list. Get your pens and pencils out. Uh, please oh, hit the subscribe that's button, cool. like the video, hit the bell icon to keep following them. Remember to share this to all of your friends and family. Let them join in on the fun. We are trying to be as open as possible. And of course, in the description down below, you'll find links to the Discord where you can come join the Tournament Power, join the main league, just have fun, talk with it. Uh, there's a few other leagues attached to the Discord as well if you want more stuff in the similar style. Uh, as always, please leave a comment down below with your favorite moment from this match. That way we can uh, look into it and put it into some sort of collage or short. So just let us know what your favorite moment was. And with that, that'll do it for Episode 3 of the Tournament of Power Season 2 Top 8. We will see you guys in the final episode tomorrow. Uh, it'll be, it'll yeah. be a banger. It'll be a banger. Yeah, just like all the rest of these matches have been. So again, thank you. Toodaloo. Toodaloo.